two science news stories came out this week, and I just love the coincidental timing of both of them. So I'm going to do them both together in one video. First, this measles has hit a new record here in the United States and not in the good way. Uh, nearly 700 people have been infected throughout 22 different states in the United States. Uh, that's more than any year since the year 2000. Why do I say the year 2000? Was that when we had the most prior to this? No, the year 2000 is significant because that's when scientists said measles was eradicated. We had eliminated measles from the United States, and now we are at a record number of measles. Uh, the year 2000 is uh, just before Andrew Wakefield came here to the United States, bringing his anti-vaccine nonsense with him. Around 2005 or six is when Jenny McCarthy finally realized that her son has autism and that he's not, in fact, a magical fairy from another dimension, as she literally believed he was. And then she went on Oprah to tell everyone that the reason why he had autism is because of vaccines. Of course, it's not all the fault of Wakefield and Winfrey and McCarthy. Uh, in order for these complete whack jobs to have had such a huge impact on vaccination rates in the United States, uh, we had to help them along with really bad educational and legislative decisions. Uh, many states still have loopholes today that allow people to easily opt out of vaccinating their children. Uh, which is a huge mistake because in order for vaccines to work properly, we need to vaccinate everyone we can. Uh, children under the age of one and many people who are immunocompromised can't get vaccinated. So we have to vaccinate everybody else in order to make sure that diseases like measles can't gain any purchase in our society. Uh, that's how society works. You know, you occasionally have to give up very small individual freedoms in exchange for larger societal benefits. The reason why you pay taxes to have your roads paved and your children educated. Uh, if you don't like doing those things, if you don't like paying your taxes or getting vaccinated, go live on an island uh, in the middle of nowhere where there's no Wi-Fi, which honestly you'll probably love because you probably think that Wi-Fi causes cancer, you absolute marshmallow. Despite seeing this coming for more than a decade, many states are just now hustling to close the loopholes that allow people to get these exemptions. Washington State, for instance, where just one of the many outbreaks are occurring, uh, currently at 74 cases of measles, uh, they are just now trying to push through legislation that will uh, no longer allow people to claim that their personal philosophy should grant them an exemption from getting their children vaccinated i.e. their philosophy is that Jenny McCarthy knows more about science than their pediatrician, uh, which, you know, is bad enough, but all states still allow a religious exemption. So if you say that your religion doesn't want you getting vaccinated, you don't have to get your kids vaccinated, um, which, as you might be able to guess, I think think is terrible. Um, because again, we live in a society and I don't care if your religion states that it's okay for you to drive drunk or to sell ice cream cones with shards of glass in them or any other stupid behavior that leads directly to the harm of other people. But unfortunately, when it comes to vaccines, our government does not agree with me. In way too many states, it's still extremely easy for people to opt out of giving their children vaccines. And the data shows us that the easier we make it for people to do, the more people do it and the more diseases reappear. Meanwhile, there's that other news story I mentioned that's happening at the same time. Uh, this just came up yet another study showing that there is zero link between the MMR vaccine and autism. And yes, we are still wasting time and money debunking a myth that has been incessantly debunked since it was fabricated by Andrew Wakefield in the mid 90s. This was a study uh, that followed every child, every Danish child from birth between 1999 and 2010. And they found absolutely no link between autism and MMR uh, or any other vaccine for that matter. Actually, one point, they did find one slight link in one subgroup. I know that all of you anti-vaxxers listening are 
very excited now. Here's the link they found. Girls who got the MMR vaccine were actually slightly less likely to be diagnosed with autism. That's right. In girls who got the MMR vaccine, they were 16 to 21 percent less likely to get autism. So either the MMR vaccine actually has a protective effect against autism, or it's a statistical blip that will go away once we do more research on that particular subgroup. Which is it, anti-vaxxers? I know you're all currently Googling statistical blip to find out how you can get out of this. So is this at long last the study that convinces them about statistical blips and convinces them about science and convinces them that vaccines do not cause autism? I'm not going to hold my breath. And that's why we need government intervention. We need our government to close the loophole that allows these idiots to put their own children's lives at risk, as well as the lives of millions of babies and adults who can't get vaccinated. Before the MMR vaccine, 500 Americans died every year just from the measles. If vaccination rates continue to drop, that's the future ahead of us.